Ugandans in USA against President Museveni's leadership in Uganda haven't gotten a chance to have him in their area are still trying so hard to show the Biden administration that President Museveni is a human rights violator, a very corrupt leader and uh, very many other things that they are unsatisfied with in his government. Wake up and tell him that we are not made for this as Ugandans, we are not meant to be killed. Now, led by journalist Ashraf Kasirye on camera, a gentleman who was shot on the head as he covered his Excellency Bobby Wine's campaigns, yesterday they were restricted by security from accessing an organized conference for Ugandans in Chicago, where President Museveni was the guest speaker of the day. You must go out because you want a dictator to enjoy. To uh, they were very disappointed in security for not allowing them to access that conference in which they would have gotten chance to question President Museveni on what's going on in Uganda. Well, the other day I told you that uh, the authorities in the U.S. had been notified by the officials from the Ugandan embassy about the planned protests by Ugandans living in the U.S. And according to reports coming in from that side, President Museveni's security is very, very tight. But anyway, let's briefly watch and listen to what transpired right there. Who said that she's with They're all coming up to me. No, no, don't man hand of me. Get okay? Get okay, I want a reason why I'm taken out. Okay? If someone wants to speak to me, speak to me respectfully. Explain why you're dragging me out. Nobody's tag was hand. They just took it out from me. They took it out from other Ugandans. Okay? Okay? Dictator, you Mr. Biden, from Uganda, a guy who tortures Ugandans, he kills Ugandans, and now these people are stopping us from attending the conference. Why would you ask him questions? And you bring this police here to protect the dictator. We know he's sleeping up there. He's sleeping up there. We have to go outside. We are moving outside. Yes, we are. We are moving outside. But you and your boss, Mr. Mr. Biden, should wake up and tell him that we are not made for this as Ugandans. We are not meant to be killed. We are not meant to be killed by a Ugandan president who has never elected. He has been killed. I was shot on my head. I am a journalist. I was shot on my head by that guy. On my head, while okay. covering the elections. On my head, while covering elections. 2021 elections. No, you must be not out because you want a dictator to enjoy, to enjoy the, 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 the fancy life of this country. USA claims to be a democratic. Biden is a democrat. You understand? Biden is a democrat. You keep on inviting Museveni here, a murderer. A murderer. It's your boss. It's not you, but your boss, Biden. You're, you're protecting him. You don't want us to talk to him. However, no. we are going to expose Biden him and by the hypocrisy. His servants, and they are throwing us out. All because she entered, she wanted to ask him questions. She was registered. Right here. This one right here. 37 you, years in power. How is that? Killing okay? people, murdering okay. people. Ja Robert Chagulani's supporters are being murdered every day, abducted by the state itself. You keep on taking us out. The guy is here on cross six. Who says press people are the only one that is hidden being brought out because these people thought that they are not part of the Museven team. She had went there to ask him questions, so they brought police to send him out. Now, relatedly, 
President Museveni's former Minister for Youth and Children Affairs, Horrible Nachuwala Chiyinji, was yesterday caught on camera at the airport in South Africa as she took her mother for further treatment in that country. Over here. Now, Ugandans in the outside countries are on a mission of exposing Uganda government officials who keep on accessing better health facilities abroad, leaving a common Ugandan in terrible situations back home. Take <laughs> Anti twagala nyo kulaba antu abakolera ba Museveni twagala nyo balaba Wanji chiririgo oh chiririgo neta tokwata kusimu yange bade njagala nyo kulaba obaye gwe nguli uli okwa anya kule simu yanga ajinya kulati omulabi omulabi kale nyo katunoje wali wa mchalo omulala ja uli tuli wanu tuli mukuno uh, Ugandans in the diaspora say these government officials must wake up and uh, realize that we also need these better health facilities in our country instead of searching for them in the outside countries. Well, there you go. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG this morning. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.